thought I'd take a minute today to talk about incubating eggs off the grid. Using a chicken's a good way to do it, but it isn't very uh, accurate. You can see, uh, when I walked in here, there's three hens in there sitting in nests. They're just laying eggs. They're not going to make me any babies. So, I've got an option for doing it off-grid, and I thought I'd show you that today. So you could hear the rain beating down on the metal roof of the chicken coop when I was out there. So I'm kind of trapped inside today, so I decided I'd go ahead and start some eggs here in the incubator. This is our little off-grid unit. Wasn't intended to be off-grid, but it's a great alternative. This is a uh, strange little box that comes out of China and is sold as a various different things. I bought this one as a uh, reptile incubator, uh, but they sell this unit as a uh, refrigerator, you know, not really a refrigerator, more like a cooler, an electric cooler. Um, anyway, you can find this thing listed as any number of items. But the reason for that is because it runs on a, uh, a, a Peltier uh, disc, which is a thermoelectric coil. And uh, it has the option of being a run from a car cigarette lighter. It does come with a DC converter, but uh, it, it basically is a 12 volt unit. I run it off our solar rig, which is a 24 volt unit, but I convert down to 12 volt for some, uh, so I can run 12 volt lighting because it is substantially cheaper than 24 volt bulbs. So that <laughs> was my alternative there. Uh, we produce a lot of our own electricity here. Uh, with just a few more alterations to my system, we'll be producing all of it and we will have the option of going off grid. Uh, anyway, this is about this unit today though. Uh, I went ahead and started these eggs. I'll make a note somewhere and have to uh, remember to turn them a few times a day. But the uh, unit itself, I wrapped the plastic shelf with some screen wire. I don't know why they would have those great big holes in it, but you'd think even a lizard would fall through that. But I just keep a little bit of water in the tray in the bottom, and 21 days, I'll have solar chickens. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Like my videos. I like making these. It's fun. <laughs>